Get ready, everyone. The royal jewelry saga has just entered absurd territory thanks to none other than Meghan Markle, the duchess who always brings the drama. Her latest performance is so intense that it could easily rival any daytime soap opera out there. According to rumors circulating through palace corridors, Princess Charlotte is poised to receive the famous wedding tiara of Princess Diana. On the other hand, it's possible that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's daughter Lilibet may have limited options when it comes to jewelry due to Meghan's rumored efforts at selling off her collection. As your trusted commentator for the royal soap opera, I have long discussed Harry and Meghan's jealousy. It seems that my theories are coming to light as we observe Meghan's purported breakdown over Princess Charlotte obtaining Diana's cherished crown jewel, a situation quite literal in nature. Reportedly, a few royal sources with little discretion have claimed that once Charlotte reaches adulthood, she will proudly flaunt Diana's tiara. In comparison, Lilibet's inheritance seems insignificant and unremarkable. However, the plot thickens. Reportedly, Meghan has been unloading Diana's jewels in a rage-induced frenzy at an alarming pace. Imagine this scenario. While vacationing in Jamaica with Prince Harry, Meghan adorns herself extravagantly but is lacking only one thing, royal family jewels. Notably absent are her engagement ring and Princess Diana's watch as well as the beautiful aquamarine ring that once graced her finger. All of these pieces have mysteriously disappeared without explanation. Could it be true? Meghan has pawned all of them in what may just be Pawn Stars, Royal Edition's most scandalous episode yet. And just when you think the drama couldn't get any more intense, a surprising twist emerges. Meghan's public relations team is asserting that Lilibet will be inheriting jewelry worth almost a million dollars, which includes items from both Meghan and Diana's collections. Shockingly, they have also named Diana's Cartier watch to add credibility to the claim of its high value now. Given rumors about Meghan visiting pawn shops carry any truth, it raises questions as to what precisely Lilibet can anticipate receiving, perhaps just proof of a sold-off Cartier? We mustn't overlook the harsh truth in this situation. Meghan and Harry swiftly abandoned their royal responsibilities, much like Meghan shed her British accent. Consequently, it's expected that the distribution of royal assets won't be fair across the board. The legitimate prospective working member of royalty, Princess Charlotte receives priority over Lilibet who is left to settle for whatever scraps remain from her parents' supposed clearance sale. The consequence of Meghan and Harry's royal defiance is now clear. They took on a childish attitude, but they're witnessing others receive the rewards for following protocol. There has always been speculation about Meghan's jealousy towards Kate, and with her daughter not getting to wear Diana's jewels, she must be furious. The outbursts witnessed at Montecito are so dramatic they could win an Oscar, serving as proof of the repercussions resulting from their royal risk-taking. Ultimately, this extravagant display is not just about material possessions but rather a lingering feeling of remorse. Step right into our very own royal soap opera where the only thing more dazzling than jewels are its climactic moments.